Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if you're coming across an issue with the network troubleshooter that says that the Intel Wi-Fi AX201 160 MHz adapter is experiencing driver or hardware related problems and the issue is detected but not fixed or repaired. So this should hopefully be a fairly straightforward process here guys and without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So first thing I'd actually recommend trying here would be to open up the start menu, type in device manager, best match should come back with device manager, go ahead and left click on that to open it up. Expand your network adapter section and then right click on your internet intel connection here, your gigabit network connection and select update driver, select browse my computer for drivers and then select let me pick from a list of available drivers on my computer select the Intel option here if there are generic ones you can go with them if there are no other options but I'd recommend going with the Intel one select next and then click on close restart your computer see if that's resolved the problem if not what we can do on our computer or if you need to use or borrow another person's computer that the internet's working properly you can go onto the internet and I want you to go to a Microsoft support site that I will have in the description of the video. And this issue primarily applies to Surface devices, Microsoft Surface, laptops, tablets, that kind of thing. So if you go down here on this page, you'll see Surface Book, Surface Go, Surface Laptop. Select whichever one's applicable for your device. And you're going to go ahead and actually install new driver updates from that. So you can see, we're just picking one example here. We're just saying Surface Book 3. Go ahead and select the download button. All these options are going to look very similar. This would follow along with the on-screen instructions. This downloads about one and a half gigabytes. I'm not going to wait for it to download, but I'm just giving you guys the example that you would just go with whatever drivers are applicable for your device. Let it install, let it update, and that is pretty much it, guys. So not much more to it than that. Do hope I was able to help you guys out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.